how are you hope you have a beautiful day and if not try to make an effort to make it great today we will talk about that how to transfer files from pc to mobile with zapier and free of cost yes my friend actually i'm telling you this is my friend 110 percent free so to know that how to transfer files from pc to mobile with zapier and free of cost so without any further ado let's get started first of all go to the browser and download zapier for pc and similarly then go to your mobile phone if you have android so go to play store and download zapier and if you have apple's phone so you can go to app store and download zapier so then we will talk about that how to connect zapier's connection from pc to mobile and then transfer files from pc to mobile and from mobile to pc first of all go to browser search here zapier for pc click on first and first website here or you can click on download where is the speed of internet is too much slow that's why it takes time to loading in this website there are a lot of options you can download so if you want you can download for android ios pc and so on I am downloading now for PC because I am using now PC as on the bottom side you can see it will start downloading here we can show all and wait for its downloading as you can see six minutes are left so just wait and then similarly you have to download Zapier mobile apps if you are using Android, you can go to Play Store and download Zapier. If you are using Apple's phone, you can go to App Store and download Zapier. Let me show you. Once downloaded completes, go to Show in folder or you can go to directly your download folders from this PC. So, you can move it here and there. As you can see, Zapier for PC is downloaded here. Once it downloads, now simply install that I have already installed it so now let me show you it is already installed now what you have to do there are two options you can connect with your mobile first is join group you can use it you can click on your join group it will scan and if your mobile also currently open it will scan as you can see here so you can connect from here the second option is that you can create hotspot group it is easy to use and it is also these both options are 110 percent free these both options are free yes my friend these options both options are free of cost you can use it i usually use second option i will recommend you use second option it is easy i will recommend second options i usually use that create hotspot group click on create hotspot group it will generate a QR code you can go to your mobile apps mobile zappy app and can scan that code easily now let me show you how to use and how to connect with mobile my friend I'm using Android so I go to play store to search type here Zapier then simply install Zapier file transfer app now as you can see I have already installed it what we will do here now simply open that now you can click on create hotspot group as you can see is already i have clicked it has generated the qr code now go to your mobile and then scan now how to scan it let me show you on the right top right corner you can see the scan options simply click on that and very simple click on allow and my friend interesting thing is that turn off your mobile data it is free of cost yes 110 percent free of course you can now transfer files transfer a lot thousand of zillion million files through it from your pc to mobile and from mobile to pc let me show you and the interesting one more thing interesting is that you can go from here or you can directly go to your mobile folder files or whatever for example i want to share this photo simply go to your file or whatever you want to share click on share and from here go to more go to zapia 
and from here you can see Zapier. You can go click on that and it will sending and and as you can see let me show you now let me show you as you can see here it is shared and simply click on that folder or you can directly go to your documents folder and from there you can go to Zapier and then go to and let me show you and then open that and you can zoom in and you can see here my friend it is shared now how to know the location the mostly people will confused how to know about locations so you can also go the uh, Zapier settings you can make you can customize your storage paths and so on else but by default it stores in document folder let me show you go to your this PC then directly go to from quick access go to documents from the left side then go to Zapier folder then go to whatever folder you have shared for example if you have shared music you can go to music folder here and if you have shared video you can go to video folder and in this case I have shared a photo you have already know so I will go photo folder as you can see here it is the photo that we have shared now and in this way you can share a lot much stuff very simple one thing more interesting is that for example let me show you if you go to any files folder whatever you can select multiple files whatever you want to share for example I want to share this one and this one this one this one. I have selected in this seven files you can select multiple files you can click on share go for Zapier click on more or you can go to directly Zapier and this will share very simple and as you can see here these are shared multiple files now you can go to directly I have already told you you can go to directly your doc, this PC and document folder then Zapier folder and then directly go to photos and you can see here my friend it is as shared multiple files you can share whatever you want for example you want shared video audio music whatever it will shared in the specific folder so that's all thanks for watching make sure to subscribe I hope this helps you and if it did then don't forget to like and subscribe and not just to subscribe. Ring the bell that you my friend don't miss out any other feature tips tricks or tutorials. Meet in the next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.